Welcome to this edition of Taking Off. It's a special edition. We've got uh, Cessna John Eppinger, uh, mechanic extraordinaire for all the Cessnas, and he's going to run us through some really cool things on this episode. And we've got first-time passenger uh, Jake. Jacob. Uh, wave j wave yeah. to us, Jacob. Right. And uh, <laughs> Jacob is uh, uh, John's new assistant in the shop. So uh, it's been, uh, what, you, since you were a kid, since you've been up in a small plane? Yes, yeah, I was about 16. So 16. About, about 15 years or so. All right, so John's going to take us through proper run-up. He's going to talk about the EDM uh, engine monitor and uh, give us a whole bunch of advice on that kind of stuff. What we'll do... We'll do the run-up using the lean find mode, which is just, to me, the most best feature about the whole engine monitor. I mean, if you could do your ground run using the EGTs and watching it in normalized mode, you know you're taking off with a good ignition system. Okay. Um, but the preferred runway here is, is going to be 1-4. And you know why, don't you? Uh, well, because if you uh, have engine trouble, you've got somewhere to go over here. If you go north, exactly. there's nothing to yeah. go down, is what I've noticed. Yeah. That would be my guess. No, we, there was a Mooney got lost out there in that neighborhood years ago. Uh, and, yeah. uh, you know, had they been out here, maybe the scenario would have been different. So, since we're going to do this, we'll do the uh, normalized mode for our mag check. We'll take it back out for the takeoff. Okay. We'll head out west. Uh, then we'll do an in-flight mag check in normalized mode. Okay, yeah, I'd like to do that because uh, Robert, uh, who used to own this plane, Robert Johnson, uh, did that uh, with us. That's how yeah. we knew one of the mags was bad that you ended right. up replacing. And right. uh, I had never done an in-flight mag check before. And the thing about it is, and especially if you could do an in-flight Lena Peak mag check, if your ignition system's not working 100%, you're going to know it. So generally, I'll do my run up here first flight of the day, and then after that, I really, if we're landing and taking off, I don't mess with it too much more. But I do on my cross country, and once I'm set up at cruise, I'll, I'll set everything up, put it in normalized mode, do an in-flight mag check. You know the ignition system's just spot on. Okay. Now, it doesn't hurt, you know, uh, if you're doing several flights throughout a day or you suspect something's going on, that's usually the first thing you'll try. Why don't you take me through how you would run up? Well, along those same lines uh, on leaning, uh, what I like to do is come on up to our 1700, and if, you, you, if you're ready to run up, yeah. we'll go All ahead right. and we'll do go that to 17. now. So close there. And then using the engine monitor the way it is, what I like to do now, I just want to see the EGT start to rise. I know that I'm leaning it out for my run up. Okay, so we're watching those blues, right? And then once they start moving along pretty good. And you're talking about our blue EGTs here, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, what I'm looking at is the blue lines, actually. Oh, you're looking, yeah, okay. Right. Easier to see. Okay. So we're right now, let's see, 7.9. We're, we're kind of a little lean. Let's see if it'll come up more or not. Here they come a little bit. Yeah, there they go. Notice the RPM increased as well. Right. Well, we're clearing out the plugs from our ground run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, 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 from all that rich fuel. Okay, so now we see them starting to come up pretty good, so we know we're getting there. Okay. Now it's starting to go back down. So I'm just gonna come on back, you know, a good turn. And I know at this point I'm pretty good. Now we wanna go to lean fine and we're gonna hold it. Okay. Normalize comes up. All right. Okay. Now, when you do your lean check, we should see all the blue bars come up equally the same, the rapid deployment. When I do the mag check. Yeah. Okay, so, so we'll I'm gonna do, do two clicks to the left. We'll do right mag first, there they all go up. And you know, we're lagging a little bit on number four, but not much. And what are we looking for? Are we looking we're for We're wanting evenness? to see that they all come up pretty much the same pace. 
Okay. You want to see an equal rise on both sides. Okay, I'm going to go back to both. And then you want to see that as high as they come up, they all come up about the same too. If you got one side sitting low and the next one comes all the way to the top of the scale, hey, you got something to look at. Then. And we're going to go left. And uh, four is lagging behind a little bit. Yeah. So if, if that might be a little little uh, dirty plug, but nothing to be alarmed at. It's still they're all coming up pretty much equal. Okay. We're going to go back to both. Okay. Now we're going to. And then. Oh, but, go ahead. What, and then normally what, what would be a good thing to do is take it out of lean take it out of, at that point. Take it out of normalized. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking. My or suction's normalized. good. And um, I'm going to go ahead and now pull my prop back. And what Robert says is just to make sure, or you may have told me I this. I told you that. It's just yeah. to, there it grabs there we know go. it's working. That's all, all right. we need to do. Well, you just don't want to pull it down and draw it all the way down and load up your main bearings. Right. You know, you got cold oil. Uh, there's just no reason to do it. Your, your prop cycling. You know that it's operating. And we're looking now, we've come out uh, from uh, our run-up, and uh, everything analog looks fine, and our uh, JPI EDM. Now, at this point, you've just done your run-up. What are you looking for on your JPI EDM? Anything? Uh, really nothing now. We're at 163 on our oil tap. We were pretty lean, and we ran a high power, so that's why that came up so high. Normally, it should really go that lean on that. Um, and. Really, that's that's you know we don't see any extraordinary differentials below 100. So all your EGTs. Now something I don't know if you do this or not. I generally go back and just look behind, and you can physically look yeah, at the trim tab on the 210. Oh, the trim tab, yeah. Now, yeah. Oh, I had, pull I had, it, pull I had it back that, horizontal. And then you can look at it. And you know, and I'm just kind of in that habit. Uh, right. When I first started training. That's a good uh, idea. Gary let me have the trim set for landing and on his 210 you got to have full nose down the flare oh when wow you're coming in and uh and he uh didn't remind me just to <laughs> doing uh touch and goes which you really shouldn't do with a 210 as well and just to let me feel what a 210 feels like out of trim oh wow and uh it is a handful now our oil pressure is in the green our uh checklist is complete once the air conditioning is off for takeoff, nobody. We've been listening. Nobody's in the pattern. Do the says the seat shovel. Yeah. You do that? No. I oh, oh yeah. What's that? Every time you got somebody in your airplane, you always want to do the says the. Just yeah, yeah, because it can. Just make uh, sure it's it can, it, Yeah. You know. All right, we'll have to add that to the that's, checklist. That's called the says the seat shovel. Anybody owns a says long enough knows better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I'm trusting make... your fuel gauges. All right, I'll make a call. Hicks Traffic Centurion 4620 Yankee taking the active one four for a west departure, Hicks. Okay, I still don't see anybody out there. Don't hear anybody. Don't hear anybody. Still nobody out I'm there. I'm gonna come up full ridge, okay. Okay. Oh, you like full ridge because it seems oh, yeah. to cough a little bit when I did that. So well, I just we'll, came I'll, out a I'll watch bit. that. We got the engine okay. monitor here, so here we go. I'll kind of look at everything. Okay, there. Get up a little bit here, then I'll go to firewall. And lately, it's been going a little bit red when I go full firewall. Well, the first, first start's always going to be above, and you're 36.3, hey, we're which is good. 58. You're right there, right we're now. Good. 36.5. Okay, so John, here we are at cruise, 2,500. Um, I pulled back the manifold pressure a little bit. Um, so how do you like to uh, now uh, uh, lean, lean okay. the machine? So right now, you know, we're running about 2,600. I'm going to bump it up a hair, just to have even numbers here. On the propeller, and, on the prop. And, you know, we're running 31 inches. Let's just pull it back to 30 inches. We're close to it. I'm right-handed, so it's a little odd. You like 
Uh, 30 inches for the 210. Well, it'll put us at the top of the green, you know, and your your typical cruise setting. Okay. So normally, you know, you're going to lean back, you know, we're 26 gallon an hour. Talk about the big pullback that okay. you told me about. So now that we're, we're, we're kind of lean, but we're, we're burning quite a bit of fuel. Okay, so now we're going to do the big mixture pull. And all we're going to essentially do, we're going to pull it back until you feel the seat of the pants. Okay. And right there, you felt it come across. I'm going to go a little leaner than that because it's still smooth. The engine's still running pretty smooth. I want to make sure I'm plenty lean of peak. Okay. Okay. Now, our CHTs are all low 300s. That's good. Now, just to assure that we're lean of peak, okay, we're going to push in a little bit of manifold pressure now. Okay. You're putting more mass air in there. The temperature should come down the CHTs even more. So let's go up to 31 inches on the manifold. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to 31.5. I'm not right-handed. There are CHTs. Nothing's going up. They're coming back down. Okay. We know that we're plenty lean of peak. And right now, it's running really pretty good. I'm going to go up to 32 since we're that close to it. And we're burning 15 gallons an hour on this uh, six-cylinder. And really, we should be able to pull it down to 14. Okay, 12.5 and 1569 is what number two was. And that's rich a peak? That, no, that was what number two went lean. Okay. Number two went lean. So we're going rich of peak now. So 1569, you want to be 100 degrees rich of peak. So we're looking for 1469, 1470. Now we're burning 15.4 gallons Got an it. hour. Got it. Okay. So that's the Richard P. Now, they want you to pre-lean to 50 degrees Richard P before you go and do the lean of P. And why is that? It's supposed to stabilize them a little better, I guess. I don't have a good explanation for that. Okay. That's called out out of the book. Okay. Um, I think it has to do with the whole slow lean process. Uh, 50 degrees rich of peak is not a good place to be operating. Uh, we're below 65% power, so it's under the circumstances it's okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. You doing okay, Jacob? It's a bit rocky. Oh yeah, I'm good. All okay, right. now to go lean of peak, and here's Lena Peak. There's Lena Peak. Let's see if it stayed in there. All right. Okay, it stayed in there. Okay, so we're we're at 50 degrees uh, rich of peak right now. We're going to go Lena Peak, and what's going to happen now? Instead of the bar graph going up with the temperatures, we're uh -huh. going to do a slow pull here and let it stabilize as we're going. And that the the EGT bars instead of going down. There we go. We got the icicles now. Yeah, we got the now icicles. Now they're going from the top down. And you can see here, number one, still barely lean. It's So we're about 23 degrees at a fuel flow. Let's see okay. where we at. 10 degrees. And we've lost so. about uh, four or five knots. And we're right. down to 11.9 gallon an hour at this point. Okay. Wow. And we're only, yeah, about 13, 15 degrees on number. Okay. So there's a lot of controversy about running Lena Peak. Um, uh, you know, I, I've talked to uh, somebody who owns a 210, who, who owned a 210, who had no problem whatsoever running Lena Peak. But then some people say you're messing up your engine. So you're a mechanic. Uh, you know, is it dangerous? You know, what is the controversy surrounding running Lena Peak on well, long cruises? Well, it's about running lean enough or rich enough that you're not hurting the engine. There's the red box area that they discussed. Now, something we could do, okay, we're 10 degrees lean to peak, and okay. we know that everything's lean to peak at this point. Yeah. So if we just push up a little more power, we're gonna go further lean to peak, and we're gonna start to pick up some of our speed loss, because we got a turbo now. Right. So we just went from 10, and what are we at? Manifold pressure coming up. 27.2. 27. Now we're at 28. 
So now it's it's already at 25 degrees. Lena Peak on our richest cylinder at 12.8 gallon hour fuel flow. We're going to go pretty slow right now. We're pulled way back. Yeah, and power. we're flying low. Yeah. All right, so John, um, we're uh, near the airport and uh, we're going to do our mag check, in, in flight mag check. So we've normalized on our uh, EDM. And, uh, and I'm just going to pull it out one more time. We've been in normalized for a while. Yeah. And this is another good thing to do. If you're in cruise flight and you're uh -huh. traveling, you know, after a while, you'll see them start to stagger and they'll kind of wander a little bit on their own. Just take it back out, come back in and calibrate it again. All right. So we're going to normalize. Here we are, in-flight mag check. We're going to do two clicks to the left. One, two. There they come up. We get a nice Very rapid really rise. Even. And we get the alarm, which is yeah. good because that would tell us. Now I'm back up, by the way. And, um, okay. Now I'm going to do one click left. And Another you don't need to hold long. it there quite so long. Okay, then you know, turn it just, back. It's just kind of hard on the temperature. And, okay. and like I said, a lot of the T210s, you really can't hold it that long. You'll see a TIT will come up. Uh, All right. All right, John. Uh, thanks for uh, flying and showing us uh, uh, the ins and outs of the, the JPI EDM. Uh, it's it's really good to, to, get a, to know what's happening with the engine and, and be able to know... Uh, how to manage that fuel flow. I enjoy taking a break on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> it wouldn't. is Friday, and I have nothing to look forward to but rush hour for the next hour. Well, and it's 70 degrees out there, and it's February. So, you know, we have to turn it, on the air conditioning. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs>